is of course a lot of improvement. <coughs> we are in a better place than where we were last week. The queues are shorter, the movement is faster, <coughs> um, but still we have a journey to travel. And therefore, much of uh, today, we have been doing strategy with the teams here. Because as I promised, we must crack this problem. So we think we are there, we are almost there. There is still a lot of work to be done. And in fact, I have a continuation of this meeting I have had today, tomorrow from 5 a.m. And the end result is going to be as follows. That in 10 days from now, there will be no single backlog matter on passports. We will deliver as promised. In between, a lot of things to be done. So I think that's all what I can say for now because there are issues of production that are still outstanding. But I don't want to speak to them now because what is critical is what the people of Kenya should expect. So that's all what I can say. Now we, we discovered that in between the last time I, I was here and now, we've had new challenges and we've seen how to address those challenges so that um, we make sure that um, even the new applications that are coming in are also processed in such a way that they don't create another backlog after we have cleared with the current backlog. So, so far so good, a lot of improvements, uh, but also a lot of things that are not yet done the crowds are still big, it should not be like that. So we hope by the time we clear the backlog in the next 10, 11 days, we will have addressed the crowd issue. And you will not see the picture that you are seeing here. But generally, we are good, we are on course. Long term issues, we address them once the backlog issue is addressed. Because you have long term issues on uh, policy matters about uh, production of passports, the application process, and whether uh, we will continue having people to come here to queue for their documents, or we are going to develop other methods where uh, citizens are treated in a more orderly manner without coming to queue here. So those are policy issues, but we have packed those issues until after the backlog issue is completely removed. So that's where we are. As I announced last week, we have uh, made arrangements for more equipment. The equipment has not arrived. The new equipment has not arrived. As you are aware, we must use the uh, government procedures on, on procurement. And so our hands are tied to how fast we can do some things. Mm. Mainly it is management of the caseload that we have, that we are working on. And every day we are getting better and better. In fact, even in between and the 10, 11 days from now, we'll also make uh, other administrative changes here, including the numbers of our customer care personnel, but also separate facilities for expectant mothers, mothers who are lactating, mothers of infants, and persons with disability. And because we feel that area we are not doing very well, but also the banking halls, more spacious banking halls, separating applicants who are foreign nationals and Kenyan citizens. So all those things are going on and, uh, and uh, it's a work in progress. The only assurance I want to give today 
is that the backlog will not be there in the next 10, 11 days. We'll have cleared it and it will never accumulate again. And the work we are doing here is to make sure that the strategies we put in place outlive the current officers who are holding office at the moment. So we are making structural, institutional, and systemic um, arrangements to make sure that they are long term. So that's where we are. I know you are keen to the day we will call uh, you to tell the people of Kenya that if there is anybody there whose passport has not been uh, printed within seven days to raise up their hand, that time is coming. Otherwise, I wish you all the best. I